see that. <laughs> that's what we rock around, that's why. Sure. It's a feature. I get <laughs> cool. Windows I, I wish that. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably check oh, the only one, one but I guess you might see what I have later on. Everyone doing the squad. Total of the squads. We do not stop until we all agree. Either to stop, someone wins. We decide to withdraw. A stalemate. Or, this if the so portal is dropped, as soon as the portal is dropped, it's not going to be You think the desktop guys would have... Up on the higher planes. The fourth dimensional people are always interesting. Thanks a lot, Traveler. Your kind words interact with my soul. I'd be happy to. Allow me to get up my fourth dimensional shape. Where's my boy? The orb. How the fuck? Ten. Nine. Eight. Oh shit. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Welcome, friends. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroads. A rendezvous of travelers wandering between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am an infomorphic, mimetic, meme complex, and one of the tour guides of VR Travelers. Welcome to the Rendezvous, our headquarters and point of contact to narrative domains. Do not be alarmed by my voice. I assure you, the most wholesome of experiences await us. My friends, we are VR Travelers. <clears throat> we create immersive, story-based tours in virtual reality. We do this with voice acting, original writing, beautiful worlds, and the wholesome team effort. Tonight, we will journey to the western lush mountains. There... We will join the appraiser on her virtuous journey. This is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, please kindly remain silent during narration. However, feel welcome to unmute your mic should you feel the need to laugh, cheer, cry, or dance a jig. This will be an Invite Plus World instance. Please make sure you are friends with another tourist, should you need to rejoin. Now, without further ado, I will let the appraiser take the stage. Switch the appraiser. <clears throat> Ooh. Dearest like travelers from Spot. above, I am the appraiser. It going. is an honor to finally meet you. I am on a very important journey, and I invite all of you to join. Hmm, I sense all of you are not familiar with appraisal. All right then, everyone, look to your left. Now, look to your right. Do you see someone by your side? Are they one of a kind? Do they evoke mimetic emotion when you see their face? If so, well done! You have successfully done your first ether appraisal. Perhaps their companionship shapes the ending of the path you walk. Now imagine for a moment that you can see their ending, but they have been erased from the script. A good friend is irreplaceable. The whole of causality where... 
where they should be floats in your memory. But uh, I tend to talk in thoughts sometimes. Anyhow, I will now open an invite plus portal to Eternic Village. Just a moment. Oh, and don't you dare walk in that portal until it stabilizes. Stabilization? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, let, let the appraiser <laughs> stay. That's how we die. Nice. Good friends. <laughs> so, um, friends. I have Scarlet, friends. are you friends with either Trajan or, um, or uh, Sheen? Let me mm. see here. Not again. So, the captain of Pendus has arrived. Um, yeah. And he's brought his and, usual uh, equipment. And coming in. Uh, Sheen. Burpees. Yeah, burpees next time. If you drawing myself, oh, I didn't bring any. In case you uh, get disconnected from the world, um, you can jo rejoin oh, after. Both oh, existing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Captain Ken has become our yeah, resource. No. Whoever has a client, please turn it off. Hello, Hello. Hello. Time. Just a moment. Uh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Come on, portal. Come on, portal. I know you can do it. You can do it. We believe in portal. You see it? Stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really awesome game, and it sequels even better. How is toilet duty? Stop. Yep, someone has a client running. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, portal. Portal. Someone has a client blocking the portal. We're it's waiting for the portal to want to hang out in one of my pockets. All right. Right. Friends, your attention, your attention, please. Travelers, I beg of your silence. Listen carefully. This often happens due to the limitations of VRC with the tools that we use. Worry not. We have a backup plan. The backup plan for you newcomers is as follows. We will post a link to the world in our Discord VR Travelers channel. And if you are not there, do not worry. I will go to the world shortly, and you may send an invite request off of me, and I will accept. Otherwise, you can also join off someone else that is already in the world. We will have Trey Jim, would you like to stay behind, or would you rather me stay behind? Which is easier. Trey Jim's gone. Trajan's already gone. Looks like he's already gone. Trey Jim's already gone. <laughs> he's out. Trey Jim has decided. <laughs> One step ahead of me, as usual. Blah, 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 blah. Well, well, my friends, that. listen carefully. I will remain behind to make sure everyone gets in. Go ahead and send your right invite request to Trey Jim now. Unless Trey Jim crashed, he might have crashed. There's that you. Maybe it is. Maybe he did crash because this dance floor keeps on showing up and lagging the world. You must see if you have to change him back. He actually fucking kept up with you. I can't believe it. Because he didn't crash. Oh god, this I'm right here. The link is now ready, friends. Hello. Check the Discord to see the link and click invite me to invite yourself into the world. I'm in the Discord. Yeah, so I think he's going to go. Uh, should yeah, I down? Go. Down or lyric? Down or lyric? Uh, I'm straight to first time. Normal to you? He's good. Gamer. I'm sorry. I'll call you. You see, I'm hiding in this dimension from that spider. Because that spider preys on my species. You know, wait a little bit. I'm hiding another reality. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had to double the exercises. I'm gonna go to her every day. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Uh, Alright. Okay, you know what? I'm but gonna mine, I'll see that. that. Oh, oh, it seems they loaded it. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go, go join the world now. I'll see you guys okay. there. There he goes. Uh, continue this joke okay. elsewhere. Let me see. Where did they post it? Smiles and Tech Nerd, I believe you're sending the incorrect request to Trajim. You instead need to send a request for to join Trajim. I will join the gym first. I love how, like, one by one, people are just leaving. It's like, who's next? Who's next to be disappeared? Would you care to have a seat? Uh, oh, thank you. Friends, if anyone ahead, needs help joining, time. please let me know and I will assist. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll just... Hey, you'll we'll join off me. Me and Kobold will join off of you.
Sure, what to expect? It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good story. It's the I say I would rate it probably the best story oh. in the whole year. Probably. Yeah. 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 We have a lot, a lot of things. Hey, yo, equalization. Bye. Equalization. Uh, yeah. Yes, but nah. you still got you still have it, man. Damn, I haven't done squads in so long. You no, still got it. Oh, yeah. so oh, so it's, still it's, still it's See, the thing is, when we first started doing it, I couldn't keep up with you at all. I was done at like around 30 squads. It's good everyone shall be fit while on events. Within my presence, everyone needs to be fit. Because, you know, gamers also work out. You're gonna leave? No, no, you don't need to. You don't need to. We'll do squads right now. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend turning more avatars on. Wait, do you actually want to do it? Uh, no, I want to listen to the story. Just listen to the story. The squads are. I'm too tour now. I did like how many squads did you do? Like a hundred or something? I was legit. I wasn't like, counting. They had to be close to that though. Close to a hundred. Yeah, probably close to a hundred. Nice. Good, dude, since I've been doing squads, like, my legs got so fucking <laughs> thick. Like, I'm not even joking. They, like, I can feel the muscle. Like, I can feel the muscle just to press it and clench my, like, I, I can, like, like, I punch and it, like, it's, it's stupid. Like, this shit ain't going on. I'm telling you. My goal is to have an absolute dump truck of an ass. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Why does it? Why is it that every time I hit escape, it enables play for me? Why does it do that? Stop! I'm not pushing. Uh, ash. Uh, sure. My friend, moving close to him. You can hear him. Razor. There are clickable and movable 3D objects in this world. I kindly ask that if you stumble across one, please leave it where it is, as they do play a role in the story. Now then, the story begins. The appraiser makes her way through the western lush mountains. 
She smiles as she walks alone, passing various old ruins. Her adventurous spirit powers her forward. She sees everything in front of her as a beautiful thing to learn about. This would be her first time exploring this region. The everlasting quest to find a new flavor of ether guides her. She's been traveling for as long as she can remember. Now walking through a dark, moss-covered tunnel of carved stone, she emerges into a beautiful hidden valley lined with high waterfalls. A bright village lies at its center, as if waiting for her, and she opens her eyes. Incredible. It's just as beautiful as I've heard. All right, let's check my position. Huh? Why is my compass spinning? Some sort of magnetic disturbance around me? Of course, there is definitely something going on in this place. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I will find a pure ether crystal here. I can already sense it. Ah, welcome to Eternic Village. The appraiser audibly welcomes herself to Eternic Village. Grinning into the sky, a moment passes. She adjusts her merchant backpack. Now looking straight ahead, she moves confidently onward. My friends, this way. Alright. Oh man, I missed this tour. Alright. Uh, uh, right. You can see why the world is like. Also, uh, this note for anything that could be borrowed at the library. I'm actually rather interested. This is not Oh my god, that's that's just that's that's a random level two enemy. Yeah, the flowers smell great here. Hey, don't you... Don't ruin My the friends, mood. there are treasure chests scattered around this world. Please refrain from opening them until the quest requires it. The appraiser stops before the bridge to focus on the ether in the air. This feeling, wow, this is definitely a new emotion ether. A crystal for sure. But why is it so familiar here? Oh, hello there, Mavis. An old man calls from up an orange tree, breaking her train of thought. An overstuffed canvas pick sack is strapped over his shoulder and tied to his waist. It looks ready to burst any second. The old man nearly falls, trying to free one hand to wave to the appraiser. H hello careful now you are quite high up there where, where is your ladder pops oh it fell over the oh here it is let's put it back against the tree you will never get down with that many oranges on your person why don't you take what you have home and come back for some more huh i could have sworn it was well no can do miss you see Harvest has started, and I woke up especially early this morning to get picking before those darn kids. Anyways, thanks for your help. Uh, oh, your pack. A traveling merchant, are you? Indeed, Pops. I'm here to roll coin, eat hearty, trade booty, and make friends. Ho oh, ho, I love it. <laughs> Welcome to Eternic Village, you spirited lass. The market is just down the way. The friendly villager returns to picking oranges. Focused, the appraiser crosses the bridge toward the market. <laughs> we are a wholesome community. We are a wholesome community. We are a wholesome community. Trade booty! There's a death call underneath it. Oh my god. It's gonna be like a fucking trade booty. Trade booty. Yeah, trading booty. Yeah, trading booty. booty. Is that yeah, a can't play? Move it a lottery. It's trading. Oh yeah, no, this bridge is definitely strong. It's a good thing. Keeping a peaceful vibe. Okay. Okay. 
seems so nice. Look at this hair. Oh, they just added a song. <laughs> it's not from anything. The world's creator made this for themselves. I hope it's the same. Holy shit. I had completely forgotten until just now. Oh, yeah. It was so good. Good. beautiful. You know? said the music, Before everything is so good. Oh, I haven't been in VR uh, the newcomers are pretty yet. It's so cool. They sure are. They are in it for a tree. Uh-huh. Uh, for sure. I... I'm so excited right now. Evil. So cool. Wow. Oh, that fence doesn't exist. Oh my god, man. The sword's just as beautiful as it is in, in PC, in desktop, holy god. I didn't say that last one. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so why not? <laughs> I said, how's it um, going? It returns. Well, thanks for the ride, Equalization. <laughs> The dragon wagon is now the L fallen oh, carriage. Oh, oh, my right gen, weren't you the dragon. It's the wagon that you be dragging. It's a long, it's a long fly for me. My wings get tired. There it goes. I'm now yeah. tall. The story continues. The appraiser enters the town square, the central point of the village. She studies her surroundings, observing all the people busy preparing for the day. She tries to hone in on the ether crystal, but the air is too thick with all kinds of buzzing flavors. Ether melons, get your ether melons here. One bite and you will be in your mama's arms again. Warm bread, wheat, rye, wonder, sourdough, banana, corn, ginger, pumpernickel. We got it all. Fresh fish, seafaring sea demons, caught fresh from the Ava River. Got some squiddy things here from last night's catch, too. Don't put your hands near the body ends. The appraiser smile. <laughs> One thing's for sure. This place is full of interesting stories and new friends, and she already loves it. The appraiser runs out into the center of the street and spins in place to see all the possible locations, her arms outstretched as if she is dancing with the village itself. Ah, let's see. We just came from an orange grove near the entrance bridge. In the market, we have a magic bazaar and a baker's stall. Down the way, there's a pumpkin patch, then further down are what looks like the village docks. The other way leads to some rolling fields, and I think I see a farmhouse. And also, there's a big hill of windmills way off in the distance. I think I noticed a weird smelling windmill on the way in here, too. Also, <laughs> is that singing I hear? It sounds familiar. Finally. <laughs> there's that right there. That giant tree. There is surely something interesting going on in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, focus. I need to find that crystal. And I wonder where I should look first. My friends, while remaining here, please together discuss which location the appraiser will explore. You have a few minutes. I'll restate the locations for you. Orange Grove, Magic Bazaar, Baker's Stall, Pumpkin Patch, The Docks, The Farmhouse, Windmill Hill, The Smelly Mill, Singer's Hill, and The Giant Tree. You have a few minutes. I always went to the bread for. I forgot to listen to the options. Uh oh. Shouldn't we used to always go to the bread first? I was looking at an arc early. We don't. We're only getting the new ones today, so it doesn't Yeah, it should be fine, Bumbles. I guess maybe we could just let some people have seen how they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Been a while. Mail. 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 Mail.
This one agrees with me. What are you thinking? There's no each other. You gotta go to where the smells are. Yeah, we've met. There's no each other. It's also a mill, so I mean, yeah. You know, I'm starting to think this emergency migraine Oh my god. Oh my god. I think the fellow of approval. Thank you for agreeing. That is a great avatar. One way to nod. It seems to be a cursed avatar when he talks, or when he even just creases the head length of the neck. It's like, what the heck? Alright, Big Tree is good, but listen, Smelly Mill. Hello, Pajama Monster. It's like a tree, but if you disassemble it, reassemble it into a mill, and then add some sort of smell to it. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. General Kenobi. Hello there. Hello there. He moved. I fell. That's what I mean. Hello there. Hello there. Oh boy, I can't wait to go in the golden tree. That's a good home. Unfortunately, the golden the tree is guarded by a giant spider. What did you do for a clown bag bar? Oh my God. Does anybody have a weapon? Is anybody? That's a level five enemy. Is anybody here at least level four? I'm only two. Man, I'm CR one quarter. I ain't going anywhere near that. Right. 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 Okay. I would recommend this. Or combat, one fine. of the two. Oh, oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Yep, yep, we can get all the giant trees. We're trying to get to giant tree, but there's a level 5 spider guarding it. We just sent in a level 2 and he died. Apparently, he's like a giant spider. Well, then maybe we should have everyone go after this. Go after this. And then, body. Yeah, I don't think you understand. Watch what happens if you try to fight the spiders. Watch what that happens to the spies. I cannot. Oh shit! And he's dead. Yeah, no. We need at least someone who's level five. This is the new area. He tried naming. I got it. I got it. I got it. Did that work? I have. I have a weapon. One v one. That works. Oh my god, it works. I think. It's me. Oh shit! Your days are numbered, spider. I use my level seven skill, the doggy. I'm getting him from behind. You get someone get him. You better win. Three, two, one. Travelers, your attention, please. Time has expired. This world is beautiful, isn't it? So many places to see. Well, Fuyu VR, do you speak? Uh, yeah, hello. Who? Oh, where you go? Hello, Fuyu. May I call on you? I can hear you. Fuyu, if you don't yeah. mind, may I ask you which location will the appraiser explore next? You're welcome to. Tell me your own choice, or ask the group. Uh, I liked the dots, but... Yeah, that's Excellent what I liked. Fun. Yeah, that's fine. Docs work? Entry. Mm -hmm. Docs. Docs. The docs. The giant simulator. Interesting. That works. My friends, Boon let's docs. make our way to the, the docks. Boon docs. Just kidding. This way. <laughs> I'm pretty, uh, sure, another, I'm pretty sure everyone here can swim. I cannot. Uh, no, I can not I come in contact Walk on with water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 How long has it been uh, since we've been here anyway? Uh, snorkels. Uh, uh, Ooh, or a year. I think it's over a year. Yeah, it's over a year. More than a year. Over a year. Yeah. Because it's something that's been for a long time. What, August? And that's when I started doing the pilot. It's about a year. Cause that's when yeah, I started. About a year. Oh, it was it was around it was around the, it was around this time that they did oh. the LPD event. So it was around this time. Well, this is the was time, around this time when we started doing this tour. When we started doing this tour is when I got first got my rift. So that's yeah, it's been over a year, I think. Yeah, it's been over a year. <laughs> Holy man, I I I'm nostalgic. Holy fuck. Yep. Oh man, I miss it. This is my first time, first time in this word in VR, and it's wow, it's amazing.
<laughs> we should look at the videos in like my YouTube. We were so fun when we were doing these ones. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I I streamed them. I streamed them, dude. I I used to I used to stream like every single tour on my Twitch channel. <laughs> I, the the one that goes I forgot, forgot who it was. Oh, grabbed a pumpkin and ran away and started yelling. That was funny. Holy crap. Wasn't that Sheen? That wasn't Sheen, no. Yeah, Sheen didn't do Sheen. that. That wasn't Sheen. That was someone else. No, that wasn't Sheen, because Sheen was up here with uh, one of the hills with us. So. Travelers, gather around where you can hear the story continues. The appraiser turns to face the sound of the ringing ship bells. With her hand softly held together at her front waist, she trots happily down the scenic path toward the docks. In the distance, she observes several fishers line the waters, one of which seems to be struggling to reel in a catch. The fisher nearly gets pulled over the edge, and the appraiser grits her teeth and brings her hands up to squish her own cheeks in suspense. Finally, with the help of others nearby, the catch is pulled onto the dock. It appears to be a squid-type monster, and all the villagers surrounding trade looks of despair. The appraiser notices a tall woman with sun-bleached hair casting her own line off another pier with an empty fish bucket at her side. She meanders over and watches with curiosity as the tall fisher's lure sinks beneath the dark water. It looks like nothing is biting this morning, and other fishers over there seem to not have not be having any luck either. Has the water always been this murky? Ah, uh, yeah, it's been this way for weeks now. These squiddy monsters rode in with the southern currents and made fishing near impossible. You even make the slightest movement and they ink up the water, blinding all the fish. What's worse is they are nasty little buggers that bite our hooks and our hands if we're not careful. Hmm, southern current, huh? Have you tried fishing outside of the village on a larger ship? Maybe with a trawl net? The village only owns one trawler, and all the fishers have to share it. I have my shift on it, and that's all I have now. The sun-bleached fisher looks over at her conversation partner for the first time. The appraiser watches as the fisher gloomily studies the, her merchant pack and traveling boots. You want out, don't you? You're out here, waiting for your shift on that vessel, so you can catch a glimpse of the world out there. Ah, uh, yes, you read my mind. I want to see the world my father told me about. My dream is to eventually earn enough here to buy my own ship and captain my own crew. I'll sail the open ocean. I'll go further than the Aquavi Islands. No more mountains between me and that horizon. Ah, but now I can't even do that. Eternix one trawler has reported the squiddies out in the seas biting through our nets. There's nothing left. Listen, don't give up. No traveler worth their ether would let any barrier to new worlds stop them. Something will surely change in your future. Maybe there is somebody in the village who can help. Well, the trawler captain says there is a, a royal knight visiting the village during harvest. He said his visit has something to do with the appearance of the squiddy monsters. I tried to go speak to the royal knight. But he is praying at the time tree, and nobody's allowed in there. The appraiser thanks and says goodbye to the tall, sun-bleached fisher, and then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, the locations available to the appraiser are the Orange Grove, the Magic Bazaar, the Baker's Stall, the Pumpkin Patch, the Farmhouse, Windmill Hill, the Smelly Mill, Singers Hill and 
the giant tree. Giant you have tree. a few minutes to discuss. Giant tree. <laughs> It's yeah, obvious the, the time middles. tree is giant tree. We have to go tree. kill the golden order at <laughs> the, the giant magic tree. Magic bizarre the giant animation. Animation. Yeah, go to the giant tree. You're welcome. Yeah, we must mend the Elden Ring. Oh, but but where is <laughs> the Elden Ring? Well, the thing is, is that there's an actual, there's an actual chair of the other versions of this avatar, but it doesn't talk to them. Ah. I can't see oh, your avatar yeah. at the moment, you so for a second. Oh, show me. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You know, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just see him yeah. side by side. Yeah. 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 I'm just yeah. riding yeah. 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 And Trajan's Yeah, nice. It's a good thing. It's an energy on my wings. It's a long fly. I have a very strong Smelly Mill. I have always told you that you also crashed as well. Oh, The one side of me. Ignore the thumb now. I don't care for him. Because of. I have to boot me. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. Stab. Yes. Yes. Stab. Yes. Yes. Stab. Yes. 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 I can say the same thing. Okay, I'm on my screen. I like this like dress. Like it <laughs> looks like, like a little Victorian boy. Our people boy. have a very long level. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Victorian <laughs> gel. Okay, I can just say the Daddy Jim or Blue Jim. That's an amazing day. Oh, the only thing he's in my life right now. Travelers, gather around Grave Near. The story continues, and your time has expired. I've escaped. Oh, just leave. Um, desync again. I just now found a little bit. Enjoying so far? Giant Dad, are you there? Yeah. I think everyone knows what my answer is going to be here. May Stop. I ask you, where will the appraiser explore next? Let's go to the big tree. Big tree. The big tree. <laughs> Understood. Yeah, big tree. <laughs> the big tree. Big tree. Big plant thing. Big tree. Yeah. Big tree. Big tree. Big tree. Oh yeah, we're talking about the white big guys. The big oh, stuff. Right. <laughs> <Yeah. All right. laughs> giant sleep or a giant dead. What's going on with your chat? You're over Happy your travelers. voice is over here, but you're and over big here. Daddies. Let's what? make our way <laughs> to the trees. Your, your voice is here, <laughs> but you're here. That's a 16. Okay, you know what? I like this talk. I like this talk. <laughs> yeah, it's nice and calm and not as intense as previous two or Hey, so Captain Pedda, have, have, have you been on this tour before? something isn't on fucking fire. No, I've never done... Okay, well, I've mean, only done two... I, I started oh, with, uh... When they, uh, when they uh, the ultimate <laughs> for the Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is a fun tour. Oh my gosh, they're already up. It's like the freaking sun you fell down. Oh, yeah. Opening that one time, the afraid you guys are gonna absolutely go wild. It is a, a, it's a nice feel. Yeah, we're work. making a new ending. I'm liking it. The burning ending. Oh, crazy. Oh, go yeah, we have to go kill everything around the big tree. It might be a little bit of a longer tour, but it's fine. Does that include the suffering in this tour? Big tree. And you will laugh. Meet the pyro. Meet the pyro. I wonder. Uh, they're all the way ahead. They're not gonna get I that. I wonder what's for going on. I wonder what. Um, so much for L crate. A completely improv the bread has been would be like. Who's touching those? That sounds pretty cool. Uh, Why are they all up here? What are you getting that bread for this way? That's not what you're supposed to do. Outside here. Man, this is a shitty archery. <laughs> it's a minor archery. Alpha, you and a corpse. 
The appraiser slowly moves toward the giant tree, staring up to see how high it towers over the village as she walks. She tastes a strange numbing spiciness in the air surrounding the area. Stopping in front of the entrance to the giant tree, she observes a young soldier. He bears the crest of the great desert kingdom across his armor. He leans against the wall of the entrance, scratching at the cracked paint on his armor with his fingernail. Good morning. I see you're a fellow traveler. On an adventure all the way from the, the Great Desert Kingdom? The bored-looking soldier slowly blinks. He turns to look toward the giant tree, sighs, and then back at the appraiser. Eh, I wish. I'm waiting on a prayer, literally. His Holiness of the Sword is back there praying to the Time Tree, and just his squire, sworn to follow his every boring order. Oh, what's he praying for? To the giant tree itself? Nay, to the time tree for a crystal or some sh something. All I know is that I spent <laughs> my teens training every day for combat, and now I'm stuck with some prude paladin from Nissan. He doesn't drink, he doesn't play cards, he doesn't go out in the evenings, he won't even let me curse. To squire for a knight of the Allied Kingdom is the greatest honor, the King Brothers said. Ah, blast the sand, sure it is. While they go out and fight sandworms, I'm being used as a doorman and a, and a flippin' pack donkey. Ugh, sorry. Uh, it's quite all right, Squire, sir. I am sure there will be honor in this, uh, trial you bear. I'd rather be a doorman to the Dazil Bar bathrooms. At least I'd see some action there. I see. Ugh. Well, may I go in and speak with the royal knight? Perhaps I can spur him into... I can spur him on the road for you. Uh, no can do, miss. Strict orders not to let anyone interrupt his boring prayer. Squire's honor and all that, like he said. Besides, he'd just start over if he got interrupted. The appraiser although disappointed, understands. She then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, we have the Orange Grove, the Magic Bazaar, the Baker's Stall, the Pumpkin Patch, the Farmhouse, Windmill Hill, the Smelly Mill, and wherever that singing is coming from. You have less than two minutes to discuss. I want to go. Oh, damn, we can't go kill God. Wait, is that the seed smile? Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Not Wait, which God are we trying to kill? Seat smile? You seek. Yes. Any of them? <laughs> Any of them? Uh, you know, whichever one comes around. Whatever the one behind you, I could see what he was saying. The God of Bees arrives. No flakes. Like Yo, guys, we can get cornbread at the bakery. We have to go to the bakery. I wonder if that would be the bakery. Ooh, I could eat some breadcrumbs from there. Maybe I can see a growing potion. A giant potion? I could get big. If we go to the magic bazaar. Nah, what you need is a wide potion. The blank stare is so perfect. I could just get a growth potion for width and height. In other words, my anticipation... I mean, that I'm would be a little bit of 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 a Oh, I, 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 I don't know, Panda, don't. I, I got a word. 
Thank you for taking your They're good. There's, there's normally tours each every single Saturday at nine. Uh, at nine. Is that at nine? Yeah, nine Chicago time. Nine p.m. We'll see if I can attend another one in the future. I think it's Chicago time. Oh, I'm sure it's Chicago. I called the Glock 17. Do you use pyramids? Let's see. No was taken. Do you speak? Yes. Hello there, and welcome. Hi. May I call on you? Sure thing. Tell me, Noel, which location will the appra appraiser explore next? I'm thinking Magic Bazaar. I'm gonna go help me. The Magic Bazaar. Hmm. Okay. Good choice. <sighs> Friends, it's a short walk. Dance as you like okay. as we stroll over there this way. Hey, hey Klein. Dude, okay. this is medieval yeah. times. Hey, a Glock 17. That's a Glock 1770. Someone's Fortnite. The fucking conga. Why are you dancing? Stage, stage revolution. Oh, of course, of course, the How spider bizarre. is the bizarre man. How bizarre. <laughs> but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get <laughs> like a potion of like fire, fire that we can well, use on the screen. I wanted a glow potion to fight him, but frickin' he's dishing him out. <laughs> God I mean, damn. he's insect type, right? You just have to use fire. How do you think the spider got so big? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a, no, he's a fire electric type. <laughs> yep, that's oh god, oh god, oh god, oh wait, god he's attacking fire? us. To fire. Wow. Yeah, I think Don't piss off the, 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 the magic salesman. <laughs> <laughs> he has <Wow>. magic. No, I have They got mace. I, know, I think they shot, shot at me with the little <laughs> spider <stone>. mace. <laughs> no, just mace. Uh, just, just, normal me. just a mace. <laughs> just a metal stick. Yeah, Don't sure. worry, gentlemen. I got this. I got this. All right. All right. Time to just just clean hey. this up a little bit. There we go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's back. Oh God, got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. Brother, <laughs> Big old bring the heavy flamer. The magic yeah. I don't have a heavy flamer one. The story happens. continues. Brother, <laughs> the heavy flamer. Uh, right. The appraiser senses ether in the air as she approaches ah. the mysterious stall at the Magic Bazaar, which is mysteriously quiet inside despite its position in the central market. Inside are various mysterious items like jewelry, ceramics, vials, and books. The appraiser ignores them all and continues to stare at a mysterious tall stack of dark books on the table. <laughs> Suddenly, a mysterious voice comes from the shadows. It seems you've met with a uncertain fate. You find yourself at a a, a, a mysterious place. There is no need to be nervous. Please come out from behind those books. I am a paying customer, and I wish to speak face to face with the mysterious owner of this the mysterious shop. A very short youth wearing a dark blue hooded robe steps out from the shadows. 
The appraiser smiles and holds her nose with one hand and motions to shake his hand with the other. Uh, th thank you for the mysterious welcome, but please, will you extinguish your ether oil infuser? I, I appreciate the dramatic effect of making your customers, uh, constantly feel the word mysterious flash in their mind, but this is mysteriously overwhelming. Every other mysterious word I want to say comes out as, ah, the M word. <laughs> oh, oh, golly, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know it would affect some people so strongly. Oh, oh, okay, there. I have extinguished the oil. Are you <laughs> mysteriously okay? Uh, I just wanted to make my presence, my brand known here in the market. With the ether harvest starting, it's hard to compete with all the, the demand for food. Huh. Okay. Although your skill is great, you are new to infusing things with ether, aren't you? Yes. How did you know? As soon as I figured out that ether can give unique properties to an otherwise mundane item, I started experimenting. There are so many emotion combinations to invoke. I found it easy to think about what I want the item to do and, and let the flow of ether guide my engraving tool. But I don't understand the language I end up writing at all. It's not a language, really. It's more like a design that triggers a mimetic effect. It's like it. It comes from a shared unconscious. Uh, never mind. W why, why don't you engrave and infuse food? There is a high demand for that. Oh, uh, wow, lady. You sure know a lot. I, I can't infuse food, though. That requires skill beyond me. I disagree. Looking at all your work here, your skill is more than enough. What you need is a better tool. Hmm. Too bad I don't have anything like that to trade you. Anyways, I'm looking for an ether crystal. I can sense one in this village. Have you heard any... Uh, mysterious rumors? Oh, I, I saw one. The royal knight visiting our village was carrying it. He is still here, over at the time tree. Good luck getting through his squire, though. The appraiser says goodbye to the mysterious infuser and then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, there is the orange grove, the baker's stall, the pumpkin patch, the farmhouse, windmill hill, the smelly mill, and wherever that singing is coming from. You have less than two minutes to discuss. Smelly mill. Hey Jake, smell are we going to every single location? I just, I, I, I just want to know that. I still want to see the singer. Not quite. Oh, okay. There is actually an order. Yeah, the paper's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the sounds like there's some shit in there. Well, we're not going for the good ending today. Oh, there's an intro. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Oh, yes, I just love right. how they oh, just stopped it. Nice job, just got great. I sell a bread. Would you like any of these breads? I don't think they're great. They're freaking adorable. Bread, 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 bread. bread. This is what happens when you use 50 spells at once. A roller attack. Trap him. Trap him. Oh, hell yeah, we got him. I'll take as many more crumbs as I can. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> you had a fish in your mouth. What the hell? Oh, yeah, oh no. Oh, my god. Oh, oh, oh no. I was oh, not guys, I guys, I would Whoa. raid boss. And now Helmet has joined. <laughs> I'm now the L boss be raid boss. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. Hello there, baby. Listen, I boss be raid boss. Let's go. General Kenobi. Oh, it's just the avatar. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, good lord. Fat tactics. Yes. Is somebody using a big avatar? <laughs> yeah. Wait, can, wait, can okay. you see it? Wait. Oh, no, 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 I, ha I have, I have, I only have red avatars on. 
There's just two like giant spiders. Yeah, yeah, in the middle of this battle. Wait, no, that's a good idea. This could be Megatron. I mean, not Megatron. It can be um the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Zoid. Zoid. Like pilot. Good ending, I think. Yeah. Robot thing. Oh, okay. Welcome. I think that would probably break anybody. So my opinion is I think we should go to a probably single force. Probably crash a few people. It's horrible to think. I won't do that to anyone. Probably when the tour is over. Functioning better than I thought it was. That's cool. I only defeated a thing once. Now getting used to VR. The cold is dead. What do I do? The cold is dead. That's been an adjustment. Potion wore off. Oh no. Welcome to the Anthony Anthony. So how many endings? Holy shit! Look at this dude. The story has neutral in. Hell yeah! Get him! If I recall correctly, there are multiple neutral endings. Time has expired. Who are you trying to kill me, Cab? They're saying welcome to the RT. Welcome, Ocean. Good night. Thank you. I don't even want to know what the Y room is. Dearest travelers. I'm in on this one too. Let's see. <laughs> Violent Violet, may I call on you? Yes. Where will the appraiser explore next? Bread. I'm gonna betray everybody. Bread. Let's go to the smelly mill. I wanna know what that singing is about. Bread. The smelly mill. I see. Red. Well, travelers, Red. let's follow our noses. I thought she this way. Did you Red. actually want Wait, that? Did she say... No, I said red. Oh, she she said red. Let's say... go. Wait, oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Good for, we're eating good for months. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Did you see the breadcrumbs over here? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, did you see the We're good for the rest of our lives. Sticks. Our whole, our month life. <laughs> month long lives. My oh, friends, the tour is ongoing. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I did not hear. Kindly repeat. Uh, let's go to the singer. Ah, Yay! where the singing is coming from. I see. Well then, travelers. She's singing about killing God. Perk up your ears and follow the heavenly voices. This way. <laughs> heavenly voices. <laughs> Don't do it, don't do it, mate. Don't do it, don't do it, mate. No, I forgot to I thought we were going to the smelly mill. Conga line. Conga, 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 conga. Oh, I cannot move that much. I didn't know treasure was the one singing. This is an treasure. Remember me? I think. I think. Chris felt so not eligible. Resist the temptation. Because he's standing up. Guy is making too much work. Yeah. We don't I can't see anything down there. Yes, a lot, and it was. Does anybody have a chair? Much shorter than I am. Wow. Yeah. Wait, we have <laughs> stab wound. Anybody chair? Eight stab wounds. Individual. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Awesome traveler. Can I make it 29? Okay. The story continues. The story continues. The Sorry, appraiser okay. stands still, lowers her eyes, and listens. The melody fades in and out. She wears an uncertain expression as she looks at her surroundings. Her eyes still lowered in thought. She realizes the sound is not in the air, but in her mind. Suddenly, all, all goes silent. She hears nothing. She hears her footsteps only as she walks. She gets closer to... Humming? A man, familiar, stands alone, overlooking the village.
joins with words. Cold fire clenched to my heart in the blue of night. Torn by this pain, I paint your name in sound. And the girl of the dawn with eyes of blue and an angel's wings. The songs of the season are her only crown. He turns around and has a confused look, but soon changes to a warm smile as he tilts his head slightly. That's... that's a beautiful song. Where did you learn it? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Where did you learn those words? From... from the memory of... uh... standing here... singing to you. Uh... A, a memory of me? But we haven't met. How do you have a memory of something you never did? I'm not sure. This song... Uh, who, who are you? I can't taste your ether at all. You can taste a person's ether? That's incredible. But I don't have any. I'm not a ghost. I'm an artisan. I work here at Atonic Village. Uh, you are... You're a traveler, aren't you? Yes, I'm... I'm a traveling appraiser by trade and trader by appraisal. I'm here looking for an ether. Uh, what are you smiling so wide for? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I feel relieved. Like I just learned an old friend is doing well for themselves. Uh, that sounds really weird, doesn't it? The appraiser finally breaks eye contact with the artisan and stares down at the village. Not the strangest thing I've heard today. Not at all. Perhaps we knew each other in another story. The artisan joins her, observing the busy village. Another story, huh? So, how do we know if we are the main characters of this one. I guess that is up to whoever is writing our lines. We are at the mercy of the great script in the sky. <laughs> yeah, but what if we don't want to say our lines, though? What if... What if we want to be free? Where would our wills exist if not in the lines describing them? Hmm. In the mind of the reader, I suppose? Is this how you normally talk with people you just met? The same question can be asked of you right now. Well, okay. Before this conversation gets any weirder... <laughs> yep. I'm on a quest, Mr. Artisan. There is an ether crystal in this village. I can taste it. Do you know where I would find it? Hmm, it's right near us, actually. There is a knight visiting from the Desert Kingdom. Look over there, by the time tree. He's holding it while he's praying. He hasn't moved in several hours. Ah! <gasps> oh, finally! It's beautiful! Wait, how long have you been here humming? Ah, uh, oh, I should get back to my shop. I'm behind on all the engraving orders I have. Oh, oh right. 
I want to learn more about engraving. All I know about the infusing steps is making magic items. Can I stop by your shop later? Uh, sure. I would like that, Miss Appraiser. It's a date, then. The appraiser smiles and agrees. The appraiser watches as the artisan disappears into the busy market below. She then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, we have the orange grove, the baker's stall, the pumpkin patch, the farmhouse, windmill hill, the smelly mill, and you have less than two minutes to discuss. To quote the agent, that's some meta shit. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the CEO. <laughs> hey, so so can we officially the make the new ship of Trajan X the Appraiser? Hello. Oh, wait. You're in I I could yes. Well, he saw it. What the fuck? As speaker of none and lower of all. Smells. We must follow the snoot. Also, someone open this box up. That would that would be it's probably an accident. Excuse me, Mr. Panda. Have you seen an ant anywhere? I lost him in this. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, if I crouch, I can't really see. I've not seen it. Sorry. Excellent. Thank thank you for your aid. I will find this. Ooh, copy. Mm -hmm. I, I fear to ask a spider. Animal. 30 seconds remain. Yeah, yeah. Animal. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'll sure it's I will not ask a Disappointing Pokemon evolution. My ant evolved into a dog. What the hell happened here? <laughs> what the heck are you? That's that's not normal. I think you uh, lost the Pokemon. I think you swapped it with your other one. Oh, it's a randomizer. Oh, it's a randomizer. <laughs> My vote is Smelly Mill as well. Smelly Mill. I agree. I just said change him. These people have to. They have to. Maybe. Sure. I'm just munching on barley. I feel like you made a funny thing. Oh, it actually has a sitting and when I, and when I said, like, oh, Travelers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My friends, let's see. Klein, may I call on you? Do you speak, Klein? Yes, I do. Yes. Welcome, Klein. May I ask you, where will the appraiser explore next? Well, I think appraiser's been hungry for quite a while, so they'll go down to the bakery. Wonderful choice. My friends, there's a bun in the oven. Let's go get it. This <laughs> I know you're. I'm gonna make some get this bread. This was a wholesome community. I'm gonna make some French fries after this, man. Legit, I'm hungry. I mean, he's probably excited because there's probably cornbread at the bakery. 
Ooh. Ah, true. True. Bread and butter. Pizza. Yo, dude. After this event, yeah, I'm gonna do some French fries, shaking. man. After those fries, I'm gonna do French fries. What do you guys nice. Nice. Never nice. tried it. Sounds good. good. That cornbread do be blue and berry. The story. There we go. Come to the Slap my hat. No. The appraiser makes her way to the baker's stall. The air is warm and sweet. She begins to walk on her tippy toes with her nose in the air, following the smell of carb magic. She looks down oh, and yeah. sees a colorful assortment of bread. Some are lightly engraved with little designs. She can sense the ether infused in those. I bet this one tastes like purple. <laughs> A plump lady with big rosy cheeks bounces over to the counter. That's right, you're a clever one. Able to tell an ether type by just the smell. You're not from around here, are you? Well, you can't pass through the West and Lush Mountains without trying some of my bread. My bakery is known for having an exotic variety made from rare ingredients. Would you like a sample? Actually, I'd like to buy a whole loaf. A loaf of this here ether-infused blueberry bread. Wait, make it two. Oh, how wonderful. You have made my day. I know the price is high, but it is my passion to use rare ingredients for bread. They are just so awfully expensive to acquire. So, thank you so very much. The appraiser hands over a fat stack of coin and immediately begins chomping on the bread. Delicious. Oh. Mm, mm. I'm, mm, I'm looking for an ether crystal. Rumor is there is one in this village. Hmm. I haven't heard any rumors. There are infusers and alchemists here in the village, though. They may likely know something about it. A light warning for you. They are an odd bunch. The appraiser says goodbye to the rosy-cheeked baker and stands in the street, still nibbling on one of the loaves. My friends, Please, only one of you take one of the bread items from the baker's stall and carry it with us oh. during the tour. Take care not to lose it. I got it. Got it. <laughs> well, it? Cobalt the seems to have already bread. claimed a large baguette. Oh. Yeah. Only the baguette. one person needs to hold the bread. Did somebody say baguette? <laughs> Only one person may claim the bread. It is fine bread on that side. One Take care not to lose it. One bread to lose it. The appraiser then reveals the all the explosives. <laughs> all the places she can explore. My friends, I hold this one. we have the orange grove, the pumpkin patch, the farmhouse, windmill hill, the smelly mill, you have one minute to discuss. Uh, Where the did the bread go? Is right there. It's smelly meal? I can see it. Oh, it's it's right. Right. Smelly I really want to see this. Right. 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 Yes, no, no, we're no, we're no, we're 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 we're
killed by the box. But I've gained a previous gained baguette. Why didn't you guys say I'm a robot again? I'm a carbon. You've also gained worshippers. You have a worshipper now. You are the carb god. Baguette! Did you say no? I am a breadcrumb. Oh boy. Welcome to the bread game. We have a bread. You may shovel the baguette once. So that we may we may munch on its crumbs. I don't think that man is okay. I don't think he knows where he is. Where am I? What am I doing? Wow. No, not you, I meant person. I meant Metal Jam. Look at Metal Jam's face. I can't do it. He doesn't know where he is. He's right there. Wait, can I, I think, we'll... I think I can fight the spider with this bread. Spider! It's time to go. What happens if I stole one of the pieces just by just... No, don't you dare copy. If you stole one of the pieces of bread, then you would have to run for hours on the treadmill to burn it off. Rain Doggles, may I call on you? <laughs> worth, worth. <laughs> Rain doggles, do you speak? Oh, uh, I think they are speaking. Can we take Discord too? They are speaking. I hear them. Ah, they are. Ooh, All right. Hello. Well, Rain, tell me, where will the appraiser they, they... explore next? Oh. They weren't speaking, though. I heard them for a moment. Just let her spell. I can't it. hear them. Oh, Mike might might be having mic problems. Yeah, it looks no, like no. they're putting their headset on. <laughs> no worries. You are welcome there. to type your answer in the Discord if you like. Mm -hmm. Where's our bread god? Who keeps taking the bread? To the Discord. To the, dis to the Discord. It's it's I just He's realized the bread god. Know. Something keeps <coughs> trying to take bread for the bread god. <laughs> Hey, it might be the bird. Hey. The fuck, man? I'm trying to solve it. Stop. Just to make I assume you are bad cat allergies, right? yes? I'm making them better with a smell. Alright, Lyric, I trust you with bread. Sorry, I'm going to be AFK for half a second. <laughs> ah, I see. The yes. smelly mill. Yes. What a smelly oh, no. choice. Well done. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Smell you later. Make your way to the smelly mill this way. I am not going to have to this way now. I have changed it. Pray I don't change it any further. Walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. Walk this way. Hey, Jake, I stole a pumpkin. <laughs> we'll see the appraiser. We go this way. We go this way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It was the front row. Oh, yeah. Something else. I forgot. What was it? It's happening. I think it was like. Where did that bag get go? <laughs> I, I, I thought it was <laughs> It doesn't smell it sad. Is. We'll keep it with you until we go back to the pumpkin pit. It smells great over here. No! Oh, oh there's another chest. No touch these people. It's like it's tentacles. Yes, yes. And this is even oh, worse yes. for me because I Someone smell like Okay, intense. who touched it? I think that is I a good noise. Even though I was standing right next to it. Mm. We're told at the beginning I not to trust the pumpkin chest. in it. Equalize. Ooh, just like breaking the rules right with my ears. Travelers, the story continues. Hell yeah. I don't know how to help you with that. The appraiser flares her nostrils to pick up on that smelly odor she passed through earlier. She sniffs hard near the door and immediately goes <laughs> bug eyed, regretting the action. Uh, by the gods! Yeah. <laughs> it burns! 
That is not ether. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my poor nose. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Suddenly, <laughs> the door to the smelly mill opens. And oh, out no. steps a ridiculously buff man with platinum blonde hair. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> One winged angel play. No. <laughs> <laughs> he starts, he starts oh. default dancing. <laughs> <laughs> My dearest Belle of the farm, is that you? Have you finally come to your senses? Oh, the appraiser no, remains keeled on. over in pain, complaining of the burning. Yes, my sweet, you have finally noticed the burning passion between us. It's hot, isn't oh. it? Oh, oh, hot. Hot. <laughs> the rubs her watering eyes and continues to groan. The swole man reaches into the unnecessarily wide v-neck opening of his tight black leather onesie and pulls out a lacy pink <laughs> handkerchief. He dangles it near her face as she looks up to the sky. We have a weapon. Oh right? yes, cry my sweet field flower. Finally, you have realized I am the worthiest crop for your hands to harvest this year. <laughs> There's way too many adjectives. <laughs> Are you the handkerchief? She reaches for the handkerchief, wow. but grimaces wow. and reaches into her pack reaches into her pack for her own cloth to wipe her eyes and nose with eventually she stands up straight regains her composure she then has a chance to observe the bulging man and her bug-eyed expression immediately returns she looks up and uh. sees his hair it is shiny much too shiny and slicked down over one side of his head she keeps following it like a forbidden journey for her eyes the platinum blonde hair is styled into a long drill, spiraling all the way down to his thigh. She reaches the end and just stares at the ground below the hair drill. Huh? What? Oh, you are just another villager. You can't just make weird noises outside someone's door. People might think that you are a weirdo. Anyways, I am the Alchemist Angel of Eternic. I assume you are here to buy my famous beauty elixir. Well, come on inside, but don't touch anything. <laughs> to keep my no. potions pure, I keep high sanitary standards. No. Before the appraiser can even introduce herself, the Alchemist squeezes back into his mill. She ties a cloth around her face to cover her nose and follows. Oh, no. Inside, I mean, the that's... alchemist is sitting on a jeweled round ottoman. With one hand, he grips a long wooden spoon, stirring the bubbling contents of a large cauldron. And with the other, he touches his face while turned toward an ornate mirror on the wall. The appraiser decides to just stand near the door. Ah, Give me not I, this anymore. I am looking for... Yes, yes, I know. You want a beauty elixir. Max strength, I'm sure. Well, you're out of luck. You see, lately, my potions all end up with impurities. Uh, actually, no. I... Even the slightest contamination can ruin a potion's effect. And I would never sell anything less than a perfect product. No, Missy. No way. As the alchemist goes on, the appraiser begins to notice his hair drill is dipping into the cauldron as he stirs. Um, hey, you're holding my standards too high? Missing out on business? No, the alchemist angel of Eternic has a reputation to uphold. No, y you need to look at the bigger picture. I am. If I don't pursue perfection, then I would not be the buffet of manliness that only the sweet farmer is worthy of. That's that's not what <laughs> not what you're here to talk about. Right. All you care about is shallow beauty. Your hair you just don't see what's going on here at all, do you, Missy? 
Look at this potion. It's not supposed to be this color at all. Why does this keep happening? Oh, my day is ruined. I will not sell contaminated elixir- contaminated elixirs. Not even to a careless weirdo like you. I think it's time you leave, miss. The appraiser, unsure of what just happened, turns toward the door. She decides not to ask anything and leave forever. <laughs> she reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, we have the Orange Grove, the Pumpkin Patch, the Farmhouse, and Windmill Hill. You have one minute to discuss. So, I regret uh, champions for the smelly windmill. I think I'm just gonna like back away. <laughs> yeah, I, I regret champions for this windmill. Uh, yes. I think this is a much healthier discourse. Where we were all howling. I also like when we when we like figured it out the first time. We were all so howling at that night the next part of We still have bread. I'm gonna be back here for a moment. Like, once you figure it out, it doesn't have to do a week ago. Stop it! No, 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 I said you have. Bad me with your bread hood. Why are we still here? May you bless us with your problems. Just shut up. I still have to go to the get me, daddy. I don't like bread. We are a wholesome community. It wasn't a wholesome community. That was like, I thought we were a wholesome community. of the desert. And it is the way she emphasizes it. We're a whole wheat community, okay? So we left the sticky mill and we're never uh, coming back to the I again. love it. Wish everyone <laughs> suffering. Um, <laughs> Do you also love it when I talk about the guy? Uh, bread. 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 Travelers, time has expired. Oh, like emotional torment. <laughs> oh my god. Emotional <laughs> damage. Thankfully. Yes, my bread yes, yes, yes. Travelers, let's see. Kabold, may I call on you? Me? Yes. What? Yes, Kabold. Oh. The universe has uh, chosen you. Bearer of the bread. Uh, may I sure? ask you? All right. Tell us uh, our fate, Kobold. Where will the appraiser explore next? It might as well cleanse the eyes of the orange grove. It might be painful, but oranges are good. good choice. Yes. Good choice. Good the choice. orange grove. Yeah, good. Wonderful choice. How could this Yay, go? Oh, well then, can I go up here? My friends, this way. <laughs> the bread. Oh, sorry. Perhaps we could I make the orange bread. bread. Hey, careful about oh, the bread. Yeah. Bread. 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 Huh. It was said that the bread would only last three days, but it lasted the men problem. thirty nights. Thus began the thirty bread. The bread. Oh, this way. This way. Yeah. How much land no do we have? No one So I'm making sure. I'm gonna sit on it. I'm just matching it open the instant you sit on it. Bread. <laughs> <laughs> Please, this is the bread chair better right over here. Oh, Destination than like that it? over there. It smells citrusy yeah, here. I'm going to worship at the bread chair. Well, the, the story continues. The appraiser returns to the orange grove near the entrance bridge. There, she sees the orange picker sitting down under one of the trees, concentrating with an orange in one hand and a dagger in the other. Hmm. 
Are you planning on infusing those oranges? I thought you needed to hurry before the village kids get here. Oh, hello again, miss. Well, you see, I'm too old to get back here in time for a second picking. I figured I would try my hand infusing the oranges I have, and then selling them at a high price. Just like those fancy magic bread loaf. Oh, bread. looks like I have no idea what I am doing, though. The appraiser looks at the item in her hands. Bread. 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 One of these bread. magic bread loaves? The appraiser holds out the blueberry the holy infused one. bread. Just then, a pack of rowdy bread. kids come parading over the bridge. They stop in front of the orange tree but one of them sniffs the air. Quickly, the whole pack is alerted and surrounds the appraiser, eyeing the expensive bread. The appraiser looks over the small crowd and watches as the orange picker frowns and looks down at his oranges. She has an idea. She asks the hungry kids to make a deal. Leave the orange trees alone today and she will give them the entire loaf. They quickly agree. <gasps> they take the bread oh. and scurry back across the bridge. She's a I saint. The bread. The, the bread. The bread was slightly oh, nibbled on miss. and barf died. That, that's a good you idea. You didn't have to do that for me. That was some <laughs> top shelf dough you just handed over. <laughs> well now, I have the whole day to pick as many oranges as I want. Miss... Please, take this old dagger as a gift. It has a little ether inside it. I'm sure you can make better use of it than me. Supposed to... She the bread me. knife. My friends, please Precisely. replace the infused dagger in this chest with the bread loaf. Hey, goodbye, my sweet friend. Give me the I'll bread. I never must leave reference. you. Give me the bread. No, 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 my heart will go on. I feel like I'm in the appraiser accepts the trade and studies the dagger. She begins an appraisal. The worn designs appear ceremonial. The blade itself is in perfect condition. She can guess the age of it. And she can taste the magic inside. The steel is infused by gravings alongside the sides that still give off a faint glow. She turns to face the village and reviews all the places she can explore. We have the pumpkin patch, the farmhouse, <laughs> and Windmill Hill. Travelers, you have one minute to discuss. Get back here, oh, damn it! Remember the pilot? I want to avenge our break up. I want to avenge it, but get it. It's called the no. infused dagger. You're not a bread worshiper. We've been bread worshippers since the start. I called out of the dagger. The other person fell on the other side. Here, here. So back. I have a dagger. Too quick. No. My no, you don't. The Lord of the Lord of Bread has been slain by the dagger. Long live the dagger. No, we must get... No, the bread has been taken by the kids. We need to get it back using this dagger. Oh, my damn kids. Don't you get it? Give, give me we gotta go mug some kids for that bread. Let's do it. Let's get those kids. Oh, God. Let's go, mate. Let's go get that bread. Let's go get those rowdy kids. Yeah. I got holding on to this. I can't stand it. You know, someone else you know I'm, two, I'm three weeks old. Mm -hmm. I'm willing Stabs, to fire Maybe. someone who's six years old. Okay. No, I am, I'm not going to take you. Right. Right. Oh. Uh, no, no, like, so show it to me. I'm not taking it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go up. Yes. Also, I say we go up. Where he, Wait, uh, where the whole thing was oh, up. I hope he just doesn't get a new one. I realize that the phone is dead. He's coming back up. He eats it to things. Roast him. I follow him now. 
Yeah, but the thing is, is that we can't go to the magic shop because we have already been there. Thing to do. So, yeah, no, yes. I can't believe the army the killed whole idea that the bombs towards work is that he did not one job to be weak. Oh, the bird we have a bird, but you know, he's a bird. My dear cornbread eating travelers, your attention, please. This is our new god. Well, that got their attention. Travelers, time has expired. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how about... Black Lotus, hello there. It's been a while. May I ask you, Black Lotus, where will the appraiser explore next? Um... The, the, the non-smelly mill. No, the mill hill. Windmill? Right. Windmill hill. Yeah, the windmill. Windmill hill. Windmill hill. I know it. Travelers, listen carefully. Nothing. We have a long walk ahead of us. I recommend that you yeah. take pictures and that you also sing sea shanties as we walk. This way. Oh god. Yo. I'm just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah. 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 Wait, no, that's a Irish pub song, not a sea shanty. I actually want someone to take a picture of me. Awesome. Potato, potato. It's the same. Flash shouting. I have a camera, what do you want? Mike Plum, Daddy-o, Mike Plum, Daddy-o, there's whiskey in the jar. Take me home, bring me six home. loaves of bread on the wall, bring me six loaves of bread, take one down, pass it around, 95 oh, now loaves we have of bread on the wall. <laughs> 95 <laughs> loaves of bread on the wall, so Wait, who be has three the... kids, My take the knife. Bread on the wall. Now 97 loaves of bread on the wall. Oh, I thought we were counting down kids. Soon like, right. may the world come. No, we had 96. Now we have five, five dead kids. And, when the and 97 loaves of bread. Oh, there once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He had some whiskers on his chin again. The wind blew him off and they blew in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan. Begin again. How are the bottles of beer on the wall? Are they nailed? Trace Did I ever explain? If you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. It'll help if you just sing along. Everybody was come through. Sorry, Tim. Those and they fly as fast as lightning. This is my favorite sea shanty. You would any other guy. Dude, the soundtrack to come through is awesome. Who is singing? Who is <laughs> don't you tell us what to do. 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 No, no, I got this. this. No. I See you later. Take it. If we need to, I'll turn off the camera.
The wind picks up, swirling through the market square. The appraiser walks toward the hill, looking up at the windmills in Eternic as she passes. She starts to count them, but gets distracted by the whistle of the breeze. She hums along with it, forming a little tune that she times her trots and skips to. An old farmhand smiles and waves as they see her humming and twirling through the breezy fields. When the appraiser reaches a hill of windmills, she turns and bows to her single audience member. She then sees them laugh before she turns and goes up the hill. There is bread and butter next to a rocking chair near the front door. Like Just then, the old bread. farmhand approaches the mill and sits in the rocking chair. Welcome to the Windmill Hill, friend. Thank you for that mighty fine performance earlier. I'm the miller of the hill. Are you here to buy some flour? Thank you kindly, but no. I'm a traveling appraiser and merchant. I'm looking to purchase an ether crystal. Would you know where to find one around these parts? An ether crystal? Well, friend, that brings me back. There was one right here in Eternic years ago. During the good old days, when I worked in the market, that is. Sounds like you remember it fondly. Is there a story surrounding it? Hmm. I held the strange thing in my hands. Looked right into it, I remember. It was like I could see my past and future memories at the same time. But the people walking around in there, I think they noticed. Anyway. Anyways, I auctioned the crystal off to a serious-looking man from the Grey City. I'm afraid he left after, but he, he did pay me a fortune for it. You see, that auction was the best day of my life. I proposed to my rosy cheeks and opened this mill right after. I, I would have never stood my ground on that stage without her. Oh, sorry, miss. You probably aren't interested in an old man's story. Sir... You took the time to stop your field work and speak with me. Please tell the story. I'd like to know a little history of this village. Well, back then I worked in the auction house gathering the market excess each season. My dream was to run the yearly grand auction. But I was too darn nervous to speak in front of unfamiliar folk. That was until the bakery girl started helping me practice. You know what she did? She she set up little bread loaves of all types propped up in the auction house chairs. She even made little faces on them out of the sweets that she had. She had me practice speaking every week to an audience of bread folk. When the day came for me to do my first auction with the real audience, I was on stage staring at her in the front row. They placed that fancy ether crystal on the table next to me, and I... Uh, I froze looking at it. So many people were watching, and I just couldn't get a word out, and it was embarrassingly quiet. The bakery girl stood up, and... You know what she did, miss? She walked right up on stage with me, held my hand. I was so nervous. I didn't even turn to look at her. She got up on her tippy toes, and... Everyone watched as the prettiest girl in the village gave me my first kiss right on the cheek. You betcha I turned to look at her and her rosy cheeks then. That was all I needed. I gave the gosh darn best auction this side of the Western Lush Mountains. I owe who I am today thanks to her. I just wish there was, there was more I could do for her bakery. Hmm... Your dear rosy cheek sounds like the warmest person. Thank you for telling me your history. Uh, I wish I had something I could trade as a gift to your wife. Well, thanks for giving me a chance to remember it. Sorry, I don't know where to find another fancy ether crystal. Maybe the fishers over at the docks know something. They find treasure in their nets all the time. 
The appraiser thanks the miller for his info and goes on her way. She then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends. The two remaining locations are the pumpkin patch and the farmhouse. You have one minute to discuss. Farm. Let us go to the gourd zone. I say big tree again. <laughs> yeah, let's go see if he's done. Dude, wow. something's going on with that sword sink guy. If we just stealth around or send one no, of our big spiders to attack, his, we his have a knife. Let's bring the knife to the gourd zone. We and have make a some knife. We, we can fight the squire. He wants we have a knife. Yeah. We can just oh, kill the guy. <laughs> we can I, I just fight him. I mean, we could have Such violence. Him, but but been apparently, children hey, need the bread more than we're, us. We're we have giant spiders. Cult. We can do Our anything. Gods taken no. from us. We Look are at them. Desperate. They're horrifying. We are not we a are... cult. Welcome to the bread cult. May I take your bread order? blood and scream to the 96 hopes of bread on the wall, soon to be five to kids. We take the knife. You can become a pumpkin. You don't be bread on the wall. Wait, did the bread go up or down? I'm no longer being cooked. We keep at. Wait, is the bread children? We took it. We kids have the bread. Now we have the bread. That makes more and more sense than the bread being children. And one more bread. There we go. Okay, we'll return you. When we get to the patch, we want our bread back. We're not a cute. We're not a cult. The stem is the cute. The is Jake's head now. I think something's wrong with Cappy. No, the last one. I am the cute. Cappy's licking like mad. Cappy, no. I don't know. The cube is not real. It is not a part of this dimension. Cubes don't do that. Return the pumpkin. Hyper cube. Yeah, yeah. Why is the hyper Wake. Your time has expired. Cube from 2007. Travelers, we can make more bread. Your attention, please. Hello there, Scarlet in the back. May I call on you? Uh, yeah. Hello, Scarlet. May I ask Hi. where the appraiser will explore next? The pumpkin patch. The pumpkin patch. A wonderful choice. My friends, this way. To the gourd zone? With not a second to spare, yeah, I, I get we'll back. return the pumpkin now. <laughs> Friendies oh, is in here. No! Why is Ren? Let's have a fruity time with the gourd. I was asking that, like, Ren is dead. He was here. not here today. Which... He wasn't here last week either. either. Yeah. Ren pumpkins. Yes, yes. they are fruit. They have, they have, they have seeds there. Portion. I'm actually curious. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm, I came out of the woodwork to Ravi. Hello, Dolly of Discord. You look holy. Also, that's nice Just saying hi. Hi. That's who you are. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I always wondered. I, I saw you see you on Discord, but Dolly never. Oh, oh. I actually kicked out. Okay. I used to be Dolly Pumbles. I don't know why I isn't Dolly Pumbles. Bro, oh. be hop, be hop, be hop, be hop. Uh. Strafe jump, strafe jump, strafe jump. Sorry, I stepped on you there, robotic. It's okay, you stabbed me also. Oh, welcome to your travel. Oh, welcome to your I'm just taking care of my fire elemental pumpkin. Don't mind me. Welcome to the gourd dimension. We got gourd. We got gourd. We got gourd. The ones that are you can point the button. Yes, I retired to this village and became a farmer. A farm Oh yeah, fire farming. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a good market to get into. Pumpkin. Is, is, is that your fucking pumpkin? Is that yours? Is it your pumpkin? Have you been to Carve? Have you paid for that? Oh, that's the story. You know, pumpkin farmers got around living. They do. Let me get myself a Grab a rake. Okay, he's home. Travelers, for you all wondering, normally, my fellow tour guide, Rendizo, will play the part of the pumpkineer. Today, I will fulfill this role myself. The market is rich with the smell of spices. She sees a great many raw and prepared groceries from a fresh harvest. One thing stands out, though. There are pumpkins all over, 
and every single one she spots is infused with a bizarre ether combination. She is trying to count each pumpkin, but loses track when she tastes the air around Welcome one up close. Tell secrets. This is some advanced magic. Definitely not the work of an average infuser. She walks the street, leading to the pumpkin patch to investigate. There, she finds a man lying on the ground, holding a pumpkin up close to his face. Uh, listen, I know you're in there. Come out. Speak, speak to me, please. Anything. Give me a sign. Um, sir? I already pumped you full of my love. Is it more water you need? You get plenty of sunshine. What else is there? Excuse me, are you the one responsible for infusing all these pumpkins in the village? Uh, uh, oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I was just talking to my vegetables. It helps them grow. Uh, actually, pumpkins are fruit. Yes, I am responsible for those expertly infused pumpkins. I am the great pumpkineer of Eternic. And soon to be the greatest vegetable mage in all of the world. Pumpkins are a fruit. Well, being a great mage, you must know about ether cri Yes. I just need to find a way to infuse ether of opposite emotions at once. Normally, you can only do a few that are adjacent to each other on the known spectrum. If only there was some amplifying tool. A tool that could hold a dispersing charge. Sorry, lady. But I need this project done in time for harvest. I'll tell you what. Find a way to help my vegetables, and I will help you with whatever you are about to ask. Pumpkins are... The pumpkineer returns to conversing with his pumpkins. The appraiser merrily shrugs, and then reviews all the places she can explore. Travelers. There is only one location remaining, and that location is the farmhouse. Well, friends, get on your running shoes. Let's run through the fields this way. Glory to oh, the Lord. Go. Oh, I'm going to run Oh, oh no, I got stuck. Oh, I like food. I heard during this one. I feel like I'm on the running man. Aha! Hmm. I caught up. We have a Sonic yeah. here. Oh, gotta go fast. Bread out of this. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I was like, wait, what? Oh. Oh, the what? Uh, Get your ass out of that shit. Uh, yeah, Damn it, Pack. I was gonna switch to Shadow. I should have now. <laughs> Who said that? Me, down here, you were literally yeah, looking at me as I said that. <laughs> Put it on my head. <laughs> the God Lord is the God Lord. Oh my God. Lord. I will harvest you now. God Lord. You cannot harvest the God Lord for the God Lord. Not have a nice day. Help me. Someone please help me. I am under the God. Someone please help me. Please do not set All the right, field buddy. of flame. Everyone's catching up. <laughs> yes, set the field there of flame. Are. Good Lord approves. The Gord Lord will survive all. Gord Lord. Travelers, the story the Lord of Gord. continues. Gord Lord approves, yes. Oh. I also buy the one. The appraiser sees the rolling fields in the distance. She closes her eyes as she walks, tuning her senses to the ether in the air. It is unusually thick in this village. Understanding her unique gift and how to use it took a long time. 
Ether is an accepted but poorly understood force in this world. It seems it can be best described as the metaphysical energy that makes up a thought. Those thoughts must be attached to an emotion to take an ethereal form. Conjuring emotion without specific thoughts leads to an unstable or unusable aura. Thinking about a flame while conjuring anger will light a fire. Creating fire is possible with other emotions, albeit much harder. Through years of practice, the appraiser can now identify which emotions are being used in magic, all through a very strange sense of taste. How many known emotions are there, she wonders. What would happen if you found a treasure, married true love, and had a baby all in the same day? Then bake a cake and infuse a pie with all of the day's positive ether. The appraiser thinks out loud now. I bet that pie would be super yummy. She snaps back to reality when she sees she has arrived at the farmhouse door. She knocks only once, and it quickly opens. A very attractive farmer stands staring at her. Oh, God, it's not just... Is it you, my love? Oh, it's you. Anyways, I thought you were that dashing artisan here to pick me up for our date. How many more days is he going to make me wait? He knows he needs to let me pay him for his engraving work. Such amazing work he did on my kitchen oven. <laughs> Nearly burns my food when I think of him. I tell you what, he didn't even care when I said I didn't have the money to pay. He just did the engraving anyway. I promised him a date for it, though. <laughs> he said, maybe later. And well, it's been a good many laters. I'm going to show up today for our date. Hmm, but I can't do that empty-handed. I need a gift, and it has to be special. Maybe there's something magical I can make for him, too. Uh-huh. I, I think I get what's going on here. Oh, so you get my little predicament, don't you? Well, since you're offering, I wish you luck. I'm excited to see what doodads you'll bring back. I'll be sure to reward you, of course. I know you want that ETH. Well, good luck. <laughs> Before the appraiser can respond in any way, the attractive farmer slams the door shut. She sighs, then reviews all the places she can explore. The appraiser again tastes a numbing spiciness in the air. She looks around. High over, she sees the giant tree. She sees what looks like an aurora. There's an image reflecting. No, coming through colored waves in the sky. It's, it's a blood moon. Uh -oh. The appraiser wonders how this could be possible in the middle of the day. She decides to investigate the giant tree. My friends, this way. I knew the giant tree was the answer. Well, so says the Gord Lord. The Gord Lord. My companion, bring, bring my head with me. Your yes. 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 May I see it? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> oh. The Gord Lord's been working out. Oh. Oh. Please, fine. You got your rack ready to, uh... Guys, oh, the village is on fire! No, it's just the blood moon. Uh, it's just the blood moon. Broke mine. I'm already caught up. We have arrived. I'm already caught up. Fuck, I was gonna continue the joke, but I forgot. Is this the spot? In one hundred no, we're going further. We're actually going to the tree. Oh my, <laughs> oh my word, it's the Master Sword. Oh 
It's Hold on, let the Gorgor take his position. Oh, not the master sword. Oh, oh, wrong design on the front. Finally, I can kill Put on my head. Thank you. I just saw yeah, we don't need this sword. We already get this. Wait, sword and a ring. And a ring. The Gorgor has chosen you as the chosen one. And the Gorgor attempt to draw the sword. No touchy. Sonic and the Black Knight. Holy shit. Yes, Sonic and the Black Knight. We need travelers. Of course. I'm glad you guys thought of it too. The story oh. continues. This does not have collision. Okay. okay, how do I get back up? The appraiser <laughs> suddenly. Oh, I know how to get back er up. Standing in front of the tree is a tall, broad shouldered knight, armored <laughs> with silver worn plates. His shorter squire stands off to the side, not noticing the appraiser. Hello, holy knight of Nissan. Have you finished your prayer? I miss no interruptions, please. It's all right, squire. The long prayer is complete. Why were you praying to this strange tree? The ether aura around it is so strong. Most can sense it. I, I thought... The Church of Nissan did not believe in Aether as a source of God's strength. You're a clever one, Traveler. The Holy Knight turns around. I am here on a special mission. A mission given personally by the Head of Church and the Desert King Brothers. You see... There is a great evil presence in the southern regions. Our mech forces have detected it as near as the Ava coast. Warped monsters are beginning to wash ashore, all full of dark ether. Is that why you carry an ether crystal? To help guide you to the source? Not exactly. You see, this tree is special. Within its core, ether seems to travel that belongs to both the future and the present. Perhaps even other worlds. This ether crystal acts as a window for me to peer into time. I hope to look to the past to see the source of this evil presence, and hopefully find a way to stop it. In my current state, Able. I am not strong enough to confront whatever it is. I've heard holy knights from Nissan are masters of light ether attack magic. I can sense it. You have great power, but I sense an imbalance within you. Yes, I've fought the beasts roaming the southern regions. Animals composed only of dark ether should not be able to exist. The imbalance would kill them. Something is very wrong. The only thing effective against them are infused weapons. I also saw a vision inside the crystal. A vision of an unholy force. With a demon at its center. I saw myself in battle. I saw my sword break before the vision ended. And therefore, I also seek to do what the church would normally forbid. I seek to infuse my weapon. That is why I have come to Eternic. Rumors of great engravers and infusers here are well known. The appraiser stares at the massive holy blade the royal knight carries. I believe I can help. I know several experts in both sorts in this village. We would need that ether crystal to make a weapon powerful enough for you, though. I would also like to study the crystal for my own reasons. Once we're finished, I, I would like to have it. But I would return it to the church afterwards. May we make a deal? Hmm. You recognize my crest. And I sense honor about you. Please... Gather the experts you seek of. 
I will wait here. The appraiser nods and quickly goes on her way. The squire to the side groans from having to do more waiting. My friends, let's take a short walk to the market square for your quest. Quest time, baby. Go fast. 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 No. By the way, I think your fingers are broken. Just not the headset. Oh, not Do anymore. Do a flip. I, uh, Do a flip. I couldn't stop running for a second there. <laughs> Do a flip. Do a flip. What are you I think it was about to crash, to be honest. Come to the other turn. Oh. How about, how about this? <laughs> <laughs> Your pumpkin became a god. Is that good? Ah, yeah. Um, that's... I, I, I shall kill this pumpkin warrior. Do the not. appraiser... The appraiser walks back out to the market square. <laughs> she thinks back to all the people she has met in Eternic Village. She needs both an expert engraver and an expert infuser to successfully help the royal knight. My friends, the appraiser must make a choice, and so must you. At this time, the tour group will split into two. Oh. If you choose to look for the engraver, please stand next to my fellow tour guide, Trajim. If you choose to look for the infuser, please stand next to me over here. Mm. Fucking trying to I'd remember which is which. The Gord Lord is not Michael. very mobile. My Gord Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. I believe the Gord one has you. <laughs> Therefore, I say, my Lord, we, bring, we go with the my Lord. Oh, I have to go with the dagger. Or infuse. Lucian, I forget which one is with. Ingrid? I'm on the side here. Box guy. I'm staying. You must choose. I commit. I guess. Huh. I, 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 I go. Right, so I can't go backwards. Oh, that's because I'm I'm standing. I was like, why can't I move backwards I and, I, and I'm moving, like, left? Aww. <laughs> knock, knock. Chicken. Kisses for me. Thanks, man. Oh. Oh. And somebody says knock, knock. Okay. Yeah, I, I immediately have to say chicken. I like chicken. Oh, God. My friends awkwardly stare at the other group until they leave <laughs> out of the vicinity. Oh, that's a good one. Got it. I that's what I do with delivery drivers. <laughs> <laughs> delivery drivers? Nice. Yes. <laughs> Uber Eats. Dude, Uber Eats by driver to stare at them in the window. Alright. They're off to their little section. Okay. Now, this part of the appraiser begins. Yeah, I know what that is. Oh. The appraiser thinks about the few engravers she has met in Atonic Village. She remembers two promises both made for dates today. Suddenly, down a back street, she sees a familiar face. The appraiser looks at the attractive farmer, pulling the artisan along by the wrist. They are chatting away as he is dragged down the alley. Just as they are out around a corner, he looks back, makes eye contact with the appraiser, and silently mouths the words, Help me. The appraiser quickly follows. She doesn't want to be late for the date she was promised. Oh, and I suppose the artisan need help for words as well. My friends, this way. 
<laughs> oh boy, okay. Well, I mean, we might as well help him as well. Oh, oh well. <laughs> wing, wing. Boingy, boingy, boingy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I remember this. Remember last time we, last time we no. did this, someone, someone had the pumpkin. Someone had the pumpkin and was chasing the pumpkin. Oh no. The appraiser arrived the right to see great. a romantic table for two prepared. Wait, didn't Sheen come through? In one chair sits the attractive farmer, now glaring at the appraiser. In the other chair sits the artisan. Looking bored and defeated. Oh, if it isn't the appraiser lady, why are you here? The artisan here promised me a date, and he's a man of his word. Ain't that right, baby? I'm not your baby, but yes, I, I don't make promises. It would spoil my ether. Actually, the artisan promised me it as well. Today, to be exact. And I remember. You are the one that promised the artisan a date. A date he only agreed to as payment for work. It doesn't sound very binding on his side of the trade contract. There are no contracts in love. What are you talking All right, fine, let's settle this. I challenge you, Miss Appraiser, to a battle date. Whoever wins earns the right to date the artisan for the rest of today. The loser will become the third wheel that must roll right on home. Never one to back down from a challenge the appraiser accepts. My friends, we must enter into a battle date against the attractive farmer who today will be played by Diamond. There are three rules, and they are as follows. Rule number one. Three questions will be asked. One from all three parties, both the attractive farmer and the appraiser, must answer every question. Rule number two. The group will speak for the appraiser, with one of you sitting on the chair to deliver the answer every round as you are called upon. This means that the group needs to prepare one question that the speaker must also answer when it is their turn. The attractive farmer will sit and remain in the other chair. And rule number three. The artisan will stand at the table side and judge which answer is the most interesting and meaningful to him. Honor prevents him from lying. Whoever has the highest score by the end is the winner. My friends, the first question will be asked by the artisan, and the attractive farmer will be the first to answer. After that, the group needs to elect somebody to answer for the appraiser. <laughs> All right. How about we talk about something philosophical? Does free will exist? Briefly, why or why not? Oh, this is an easy one. Free will does exist. Or at least I'd like to think so. I don't feel very free most of the time. A great script in the sky tells and directs all. But I also think that we could ignore it if we really, really tried. I haven't done a whole lot of trying in my life, at least in that regard. I'm just a simple farmer. But I'd be more than willing to bet we could get off this moving train, fly against the winds of fate, and swim against the river of time, if we look deep into ourselves, our own souls perhaps, and found the will to do so. An articulated response from the attractive farmer. My friends, you have just a minute to offer some very brief answers to each other, after which point I will mm. choose one of you, or you will choose one of yourselves. To come and speak on behalf of the appraiser. Your time starts oh. now. Okay. Oh god, this is deep. Uh, shit. Uh... <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> okay, wait, I, I have an idea. Idea. Yeah. response to this. So, <sighs> there's arguments that have been made for no, free will does not exist because our 
Studies have shown that our subconscious makes many decisions for us several seconds before our conscious mind catches up with it. So in that regard, we are puppets to our own subconscious. But a counterpoint, what is free will if it is, if it is not a collection of our own thoughts, our own ideals, and is it not our subconscious that acts upon those ideals? And if that is not our will, then what else is it? That's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I give that a thumbs up. I'm not being on Phil's I mean, we are <laughs> trying to believe that we're asynchronous. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Sit in the chair, you oh, yeah. answer the question if you want. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> My friends, you can make it immediate. Outside. Who will you choose to speak on behalf of the appraiser? Yes, he goes. Go, 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 makes decisions for us several seconds before our conscious catches up with it. Therefore, we are slaves to our subconscious, and in that ideal, we are string. We are puppets on strings being brought along by it. However, our subconscious and our self is a collection of our, our ideals, our wants, and our desires. And if that is not free Uncle will, boy. what else is it? Where our are you? Our subconscious acts upon these things, so therefore I believe our freedom of will does exist. There's two separate groups. Hmm. I, I, I see. Interesting answers from both. It seems you have both said yes. One saying... Or suggesting to ignore the great script in the sky, to fly against the winds of fate. Or the other, citing studies, whatever that means. Our subconscious rules our decision making, but our subconscious is also a part of us. Hmm. You have both given essentially a yes. However, I related more. To the way it was worded by the attractive farmer. My friends, it is not over yet. There are two rounds to go. Keep your spirits up. You still have a chance. The second question will be asked by the attractive farmer, and the group must choose one to answer first. I'm gonna watch it and see. I'm enjoying it. Alright, All right, Mr. Fraser. I got a question of my own. How important is play in living a healthy and fulfilling life? I remember this question. Very well. My friends, you have a minute or two to discuss briefly what your answers could be. After that, you'll need to choose someone to answer it. <laughs> Where I want to see what play is. Uh, what? Play. Yeah, yeah play. play. Is Having play fun, playing games. Living a healthy oh, and fulfilling <laughs> life. Mm -hmm. um, it's instinctual. Oh, it's kind yeah. of instinctual. Well, animals important. do it. Because when you yeah. play, uh, you actually uh, relieve a lot of stress. Remember, friends, and then you... you're trying to give an answer that the artisan likes the most. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. He's very studious. Yeah. What is the oh. army? Oh, studious. So it doesn't have to be right. We just have to kiss ass. Yeah. What? It's shoot. Um. Yeah. For tricky. Yeah, 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 I agree. It's like it's, like, it's instinct. Like, it's instinct that helps. Like, like, yeah. That's why even cats and kittens <laughs> even play. <laughs> yeah. Foxes, kittens, dogs, puppies, wolves, you name it. Or oh, nature. Yep, someone's got some playing mm -hmm. going on down there. Uh -oh. But. Yeah. <laughs> is that what the artisan wants to hear? Is the question. 
My friends, 30 seconds, and then you must choose someone to speak. I think the question is more so how we're going to win. Creativity. Exactly. Yeah. It's crucial, you want to say. How are you going to it, and how are you going to make sure that the artisan yeah. likes it? It is important to play. Yeah. It is important to play because it... Uh, what's it? Where it... Oh god, what's the word for activate neurons but like it engages your creative mind. I don't believe I don't believe scientific <laughs> discussions yeah, are what he's interested in. No, no, but it's like, it's so short and sweet. How about a more emotional it's version poetic. of this? Being playful Hello, with one Charles. another. Science or not, your time has expired. Mm. Who will come and give the answer for the group for the appraiser? Uh, I'm tricky. Oh. If nobody volunteers, I have dice that I can roll. Be warned. Uh oh. Oh, it's probably a hundred side die. Point. It's probably a hundred side die. It's a cool ball. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. <laughs> Very I mean, well, friends. Yeah. Okay, roll the dice. dice is about to be rolled, and I will, if you please, would stand in a line from left to right. Count the position. Keep this in mind, yeah. friends. If the person refuses that is selected, you will lose this round. Oh, yeah, there's no pressure. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. You are about to hear a dice roll. Nine? Tremble in fear. <laughs> oh no. Well, raving, rabid, raving fate has Ah, yes, the you. mute. You must come. The mute. Oh, it's mute, the... though. Oh, is it mute? mute? Or... They don't talk. They, they type. They oh, type. They okay. The will make clear before I roll the dice, friends. There is no excuse at this point. True. Now, raving, oh, rabid. Why? why is everything the on question, fire? was how important is play in living a healthy life? What is the appraiser's answer? Upon your brothers, I'll kill them. Very important, oh. Dayo. She's got this. That's, that's the entirety really of the appraiser's answer. <laughs> Do you all? I see. I love that answer. This is where fate has taken us today, friends. Let's see how that succinct answer compares with what the attractive farmer has to say. Well, let's see if it competes. Well, if you are. If you aren't equalizing the amount of play and work in your life, you ain't living life to the fullest. I know people right in this darn village here who thought if they just kept working and working and working, they'd eventually have it made and be able to have fun with their life. But in my honest opinion, they ain't doing things right. You gotta treat yourself. You gotta learn to relax and get cozy. You gotta have fun. If you don't, all that stress you get over working your whole life away is gonna keep you from enjoying yourself at all by the time you can. She agrees. Yay. Hmm. Once more, I'm hearing two similar answers. You're both saying that it's very important. But while, on the one hand, Miss Appraiser simply said, Dio, the farmer here elaborated a little more. However, I am factoring in the sheer enthusiasm that the appraiser showed in support of the attractive farmer's answer has swayed me on the side of the attractive farmer. <laughs> Excuse me. On the side of the artisan. No, the appraiser, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> they will start with it's not their fault. Confusion times ten. <laughs> Reboot him. Like a whole year. 
I think we need Trajan to have The appraiser uses confuse rate. It is super effective. <laughs> <laughs> My friends, there is one more round. It is one to one at the moment. Confused. The third and final question will be asked by the appraiser. That's right. All of you, briefly, quickly, rapid fire, suggest questions to one another to throw down. And once you suggest it and are picked, you must take the seat and then answer the question. Excuse me, ask oh. the question. And then the attractive farmer will answer the question and then you will answer the question. Yes, that sounds right. My friends, you have a couple of minutes to come up with your question. Okay, what mm -hmm. kind of questions do we have we got? <laughs> what that mouth do? What? <laughs> oh god, oh god, no. Oh, no. Magavia. <laughs> if a tree drops in a okay. no. there is no one around, it's a bit silly. The point is that the artisan likes it and likes your answer I'm dying of adorableness with that fish. Okay. Okay. Can, can, the artisan, fish, can, fish the artisan, is. can the artisan shake it? No, wait, no, not the artisan. Uh, no. The appraiser, can the appraiser shake it? Can the appraiser oh, shake the it? Card. Oh, no. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <it mean? laughs> At that point, you might as well ask me to get some mud chips. Were you holding hands for a second there? What the hell? In jiggly puffs. Well, okay, yeah, yeah. so, so the... So the answer is. There's a bird in the hand worth the, two in the no, bush. There, there, there was ranch yes. in your hand well, after but, the sword. You know, like can shake it. Can I be killed shake two it? birds with one stone. What do you mean? Okay, okay, we got to go. So are we just trying to be, make him go deep? Are you trying I mean, to stab? Can you throw a bag? 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 I mean, I think I've. Yeah, I have been in pain. Does anyone here a tea or coffee snob? Better. I drink tea. If no uh, I don't care yes. either. Can you break it? No. Five. Can they break four, it down? Three, two, one. Brave travelers. Who among you is going to ask the question? Among? I, I think I. Okay, then. Violent Violet, I heard you speak, but didn't hear what you said. Let me turn up your volume. I said I'd like to ask a question. Very well. Please sit. First, ask the question. Let the attractive farmer answer, and then you must answer your own question. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Is human life more than peace and justice. Well, my answer to this one is quite simple. If human life is suffering, is it really worth it? In my opinion, peace and justice are far more important than however many lives it would take to create it. If life itself is suffering, and there isn't any peace and justice, well, I think I would close that book personally, rather than let them suffer. You live in a society. Interesting. Well, I believe the opposite, actually. Peace and justice are concepts that can be twisted by anyone. What is peace? What is justice? What if a piece of a city requires the suffering of human lives? You know, human life is not inherently suffering, but if peace and justice cause suffering to a human life. Is that really true peace and justice? I think, you know, focusing on human lives is more important in that case. Goodness, this is a little heavier than I expected. <laughs> is human life more important than peace and justice? The farmer says that peace and justice are more important. The appraiser herself says, no, human life itself, as the others are in concepts open to interpretation. 
This reminds me of something. Yes, a question I once heard posed. When is a battlefield at its most peaceful? When the two sides agree not to fight? When one side wins and the other side is dead? Or when everybody is dead? Yes, I agree with the appraiser. The conversation continues to flow naturally between the appraiser and artisan, agreeing on many things. Every thought expressed with words creates a deeper, mutual understanding between them both. The attractive farmer sits in peace, ignored like a third wheel. Uh, all right, stop. Let's cut the crap, Missy. I've been watching you. I know you're here to steal the artisan away from me. You want that silly crystal to give to him as a gift. And you, Mr. Artisan, you broke our deal. Why would you want to be with someone so dastardly? Both of you are worse than a spoiled ether melon. Goodbye. Aww. <laughs> he jumps up. He jumps. <laughs> God. He's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. Jim. He's dead, Jim. I didn't want to run like off in that direction. Yeah. It wouldn't. I don't know. Is this the point we start posting up in the chat for him? I mean, I kind of feel bad for him now. My friends, so your sad. attention, please. It's all right. He is half otter. He was just diving to swim home. <laughs> Having clearly won the battle date, the appraiser expresses joy and embraces the artisan in celebration. And then, she quickly realizes the task at hand and explains it to the artisan as they walk to the time tree. You have won the battle date, my friends. Congratulations. Let's see if the other group was uh, as successful as you. Proud. In the back of the time tree already. Wow, that was that was amazing. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the group. We just lost a farmer. Yeah. If there is, I'm Local tour. farmer jumps off cliff, more than 11. Just over here, we can see the Gord Lord. Also, look at the Gord Lord's new head. It has been improved. Alright, where's this sword? Assemble! They're only one. I don't know. Really? One eighth part of your Wi Fi. How did things go? The second time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm about to catch one of these at the beginning. Yeah, of course. Seven, um, sa every Saturday, 7.30 PST. My friends, the tour guide speaks. Oh. Sunshine-filled travelers. But also I'm recording now, so I, re I post them. 10,000 apologies for interrupting your merrymaking. I'm sure you have lots to talk about about what happened on the split pass. You will have time to discuss soon. <laughs> yes, Daddy. <laughs> what? Oh my Damn, goodness. that escalated quickly. Yes, that is good. Oh no, was it the challenge that he lost? Oh, no. I can't. I don't want to accidentally become big. All right, my friends, let's remain silent and walk into the time trees circle area this way. Wall this. Hey, Jack, I'm gonna leave. Just let me know the next one starts. Next week. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm kind of like I'm kind of like late through the thing, so I'm like totally lost. So no worries. I'll, I'll be after this. I'll be back on there. All I see is the ground. Alright, there. Right. Oh no, yeah, you did turn. Yeah, you did turn uh, normal size. Assemble the Gord Lord. Am I blocking? Assemble. No. Stand still.
Text. Wait, 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 we need to you got give him wait. his weapon. Here's his I weapon. weapon. Go. <laughs> right about there. Others, the story continues. <laughs> oh, wow. Good Lord is here. The Encephalon has observed your choices, travelers. However, it will not allow any deviation from the medic recordings. Thus, the story continues. The appraiser returns to the time tree alone. The royal knight notices, but does not display any disappointment. The squire looks bored, only glancing at the appraiser briefly as she returns. My friends, at this time, I recommend you turn off world music. I will give you all 15 seconds to comply. Okay. Resistance is futile. I'm sorry, turn off what, Sheen? World, world music. music. World world turn off music. world music. World music, okay. Worldwide. Thank you. Non-compliance will result in the death <laughs> of you. Resistance is futile. Oh, Lord. Finally. <laughs> Lord's oh, I, I gotta right stuck in now, so... <laughs> there we go. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was not able to gather anyone like I thought. Mm. I noticed that you were tasting the air as you walked. That's how you sense ether, isn't it? I think someone of your talents would do. Miss... Please take this engraving tool. It is infused with enough heat emitting ether that you should be able to engrave my blade. All right. Yes, I think I can do it. I know I can. Hand me the crystal, please. The royal knight hands the appraiser the ether crystal. And for the first time, she sees it up close. It is a dark purple color. She immediately has trouble looking away from it. Her mind seeming to forget her limbs. What sort of prayer should I do while you work? One of God's temperance? One of God's courage? No. You are willing to try something not normally done by the Nissan sect, correct? Instead... Pray to your innermost thoughts and feelings. The royal knight quickly changes his expression to one of disbelief. You, you recite the words of the old teachings. Teachings done away with, almost forgotten. Who are you? The appraiser is not listening. Now she's focused on specific thoughts, engraving as best as she can. She churns the ether from the air around her. To represent specific actions, she envisions this blade. It flows through her mind, into her hands, into the chisel, guiding it to make the correct marks. Her hands feel worn from the energy. Finally, the engraving is done. Now she moves to the infusion step. The royal knight is also concentrating, eyes closed. The appraiser focuses again to draw the ether from within, but also from the crystal. This time, it is concentrated, moving quick too quick. She struggles to guide the flow of ether into the blade. Never has she experienced something so intense. Her mind is forced to feel nothing but the pure emotion from the purple crystal. What emotion is it? The taste of the ether does not 
match the color of the crystal. Something is wrong. Oi, I've had enough. We are supposed to stop here for supplies and quick prayer. We have been here since last night, and now you let a stranger tell you what to do. It is my duty as a squire of Bledivik not to stand for... Oi, you fool. I told you not to enter... The squire's voice breaks the appraiser's concentration, and she opens her eyes. Just then, a surge of visible dark ether erupts out of the crystal and surrounds the appraiser and the holy sword. A violent wind picks up around the time tree. The engravings she made glow red, then white hot. The blade shatters in a loud burst of purple flame. The crystal rises on its own, and black tendrils of dark magic seep out of it, reaching for the appraiser. Nope, 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 nope. Sophia. He, he was in the room. He was there. He's still in the room. He's still alive. The appraiser backs against the wall, eyes wide in terror, and locked on the crystal. I'm so sorry. Not like this. Not like this. The appraiser turns to look at all of you, standing here. She looks all of you in the eye as she turns around the tree. It's not supposed to end like this. Not like this. The royal knight picks up his broken sword, still lit with purple fire, and swings it down hard on the crystal, knocking it to the ground. The violent wind shifts to flowing straight down from the sky, pushing everyone to the floor. Oof. I am aware, waiting for you all. Always here. The appraiser faints, and the air goes silent. It is quiet for a long time. Ah, oh, damn squire, look what you've done. What the hell was that? A demon? I didn't summon it. No, you didn't. You didn't. Apologies, my noble scryer. I'm afraid I did this. We must return to Nissan immediately for the church to examine. This crystal is too dangerous to be brought near any settlement. Come, stand. We leave immediately. And what of the appraiser lass here? She's not dead. Leave her. We must not endanger her more than we already have. Whatever foul demon that was, it tried to kill this woman. We must report all of this to the Holy Mother. A long Wait. while passes. It is dark now. The village is quiet. Eventually, the appraiser wakes up. She says nothing and picks up her merchant sack. She begins walking toward the village exit in silence. My friends, this way. I blame we people got locked into this we ending. We did nothing. We are simply following the I'm still blaming recording. equalization for this. And I blame you for being stupid. This is a free <laughs> run. This Yo, was swag. predetermined. Mm-hmm. You, uh, Nothing's ever like predetermined, dear. <laughs> this is literally predetermined, though. Oh, shut it. Pack.
Well, if your future children, oh, then someone is stubborn as you, it's definitely at your fault. And then everything Ooh. <laughs> We all got this. It's alright. How I could just grab somebody and take them with me somewhere. On that note, I shall say goodbye to you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Sleep well. You know the way. Have fun. I do not know the way. Oh. Ether, that is an interesting way to walk. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 That's just what I do in real life. He feels the music in his soul. Dude, his soul is going to it too. I'm joining in. Oh, we're going back to the beginning where all this crazy adventure started. The story comes full circle. What about There's only one way out of town. Full square. Why not those? Oh. No. I, I, it, it gets my hair gets this. Where'd my pumpkin go? <laughs> what the frick? Yeah, it, it's my hair and <laughs> uh, my face plate's getting <laughs> sweaty, so it's, it's, getting, it's getting itchy. So that's why I'm readjusting. Let's carry the pumpkin. I think it was probably yeah, the nothing one with the cat on the U-Fall. U-Fall. I'm gonna just stab the ground with this. Uh, <laughs> it's a... Uh, oh, is this the temple? There. Right, it's claw. This hole, maybe. I can... Is that an actual place? I can't it tell. It's too clean, but... Well, so yeah. Gord Lord! Gord Lord! Gord Lord! Gord Lord! Gord Lord! Never coming back to Assemble the Gord Lord! <laughs> Assemble the Gord Lord! The Gord Lord is missing so much. So, I... I... I have a. Uh, Gord Lord is. In I'm, he's been deported. Scarlet. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gord Lord. I have defaced you. Through your face. The story the continues. <laughs> the story continues. Oh, yeah. Swag. The appraiser the is... remains silent as she nears the exit, looking down the entire way. When she reaches the mountain gate, she turns to look at Eternic Village. The appraiser's stunned and vacant mind finally fills with thoughts. She thinks of all the people she met here. She wonders if this village is like some sort of combination lock. What secret is hidden within? She wishes she could start the day over. She wishes this was not her story. Welcome to the neutral ending of The Appraiser. Hey! Yay. What do you mean neutral ending? We have the Gord Lord! This must be the Gord ending! Thus begins the journey of the God Lord and the Holy Bread. It's pretty fun. There's many more things to it. And you now just appear as Fortnite Master Can you, uh, dude, check out the Lord of the Lord? Where's my shoulder go? I think I want to get that from my hand earlier. It's okay, I think you did. Would anybody care for a picture of the God Lord? Where did you get here? Oh, wait. Wow. Why? I, 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 I felt so embarrassed. There's my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Please stop taking pictures. What is that shit? Ah, I'm not answering that question. Oh. Answer that question. No, Travelers, travelers, your attention, please. Travelers, travelers. Attention, everyone. The cube speaks. Mm -hmm. Square streets. Travelers. How horrifying. I have a few things to announce, and then I will ask that we take a group photo somewhere in the village. But first, kindly lend me your ears for just a couple more minutes. Travelers, we are VR Travelers, and we create these original stories for you, for free, just for fun. If you would like to support us in creating more of these stories and commissioning worlds from scratch for our future stories, kindly consider supporting us on Patreon. Our tours are free and always will be free. But our Patreon is only $3, and supporting us there grants 
you the ability to play NPCs in our tours, like the sentient jack-o'-lantern and the attractive farmer from today's tour. Hey. Joining the Patreon also grants you access to some neat behind-the-scenes things and the occasional weird thing that we put on our Patreon. It also grants you access to a hidden Discord channel. Well then, my friends. Oh yes, before I ask for the picture, I must ask you all to please put your hands together for tonight's NPCs, Metalgen and Diarmid. Jolly good Where's show. There's metal. I was not here for a majority of your performances. I am sure they were I vote we do it in the pumpkin patch. The picture. Oh, yes. right. oh, I agree. I thought I'd just say we're doing it. I agree. Let's do the pumpkin patch. Oh, yes. And some of you were wondering if tonight's ending was forced. Yes. For these reruns, we are forcing the endings, even if you do the tour and all the decisions correctly and pass all the quests. We will still force an ending. The next time we run the appraiser, which will be soon, it will be the bad ending. Now then, oh. travelers, oh. let's oh. make our way to the pumpkin patch for a group photo. We can assemble the gourd <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we wouldn't have gotten a good ending. <laughs> we would not, I see. The ending uh, we would have gotten no. would have been neutral ending yes. B or C. To be fair. Gotcha. I see. Wait, what's the, what's the gourd restored? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, um... Well... I guess this we, is... We, we managed to capture the sentient gourd. gourd. Grab the bread. This is how it okay. is. Yes. Grab the bread. Bread. The bread. bread. In the chest. In the chest. Um, I believe that would be bread. neutral ending D. I still get a ride. There goes so Fortnite, man. Oh, yes, they grabbed the bread. You still get a ride. Okay. Yes, indeed, you do. Well, no, he, he was off. But I am determined on trying to find another, uh, another home that will resize your avatar so you can be tiny. <laughs> And make sure it's been between two soft things. Too soft. Be very oh. small. That's probably why you like it, huh? <laughs> you didn't realize. Go no, on, no, I, I, I realize. Oh, okay. No, there's the true oh, Gord Lord. Right a little there. short for the Gord Lord. That Gord Lord is an imposter. I am the true one. Swag. Imposter like in Among Us. Okay, tell us what we're lining up for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will assemble around the board. Hey guys, the picture against the wall. Did you like it? Did you like it? Let's see. Picture on the wall. Assemble the board. I have all of it. Just no idea. Assemble the board. Let me post it to Ultra. I mean, you're oh, I now the question is, do yeah, I use someone else this head to It's okay. Here's the head. Because Ow. apparently it's I mean, maybe maybe the 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 because it's gonna cover a lot of people. Except yeah. yourself, this is how you appeared how today. Times? Have the short people underneath. We're oh, okay, so. I got his other foot. Oh, there, there it is. A little guy real quick. It's a no. Foot. I don't know where to put the camera. I'm taking the camera. I'm taking the camera. Where's Azu? Azu, where are you putting the camera? It has to be somewhere. That's just it. Oh my god, there's two raving? Give me my bread. Wow. I wish to wield the bread. Months for us. Oh, I will be on the wall. Let's see. Am I? Yeah, you want to. I wish to. I wish to wield the bread once more. Where's my rake? No, let me wield my rake. How do I know? Right. Give me my bread, little giant. Listen carefully, travelers. Listen carefully. Everyone, kindly gather around the gourd lord, while the photographer gets into position. Yeah, I oh, we're not going to be. I'm going to support your Patreon, so this is canon now. Okay. Move your camera further back. <laughs> Can we do that? How does he move the camera further back? Uh, how do you know not shot. Right. Right. Patreon now. I do have a lot of like, like even over here. Camera. Camera. Harmon, he can see his own camera better than you can. 
up there. Great. I'm swagging. So the question is, what do we say on the count of three? Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Lord. Gord Lord. Praise the Gord Lord. Squeeze, can I squeeze uh, no. in here? It's yeah, the Gord Lord it is, in the most southern <laughs> accent yes. as possible. Yes. Oh, Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Gord Lord. I can't speak. Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Gord Lord. Gord Oh, 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 Aluzu's lagging. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Alright, everyone, kindly, wait for Aluzu's signal. Oh. <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> I'm Pog. It'll be a five second timer. Ready? Pog. You look like a oh. sword jack. Take a couple. Yeah, ready, I'll just, <laughs> just in case. This will be Good Lord. In years. I don't want to block you. <laughs> so this is an intro. Oh, no. 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 Oh, Ow, ow, ow. Lord. 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 Everyone just Lord. sounds like a Lord. bunch of robots Lord. now. Lord. Lord. Another false Lord. idol is erected. Another false idol. Oh. Yes. One. Go. Your Lord. Wait, I thought you already took a picture. Go on, go on. No, go on. I'm taking a couple of them just in case. Oh, no. He's lagging. Oh, Lord, it's the Gordy. Can we do one more with funny poses? Fine, Who the fuck is eating? This is my face. We have to do another. Everyone. I am bread. No, I think we're done. I think we're done. Didn't work out. Ow. I'm gonna give it to you, and you'll pick up this one. Now is my face when I'm sad. It's attacking Jacko! Catch him! I'm angry. Why do you think I know where this is? I don't know. My head! What even are you? I was gonna get a selfie. Got that fucking avatar. It's hard to take pictures of myself with so many gourds.